In this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate flow rate based on the velocity and the area of the flow channel. Well, let's go to the board and see how to work this problem. The problem reads, a plastic float is dropped into a wastewater channel and is found to travel 10 feet in 4.2 seconds. The channel is 2.4 feet wide and is flowing at 1.8 feet deep. Calculate the flow rate of this wastewater in cubic feet per second. Well, like always, we're going to write down our known and our unknown information. And we see that we're looking for the flow rate in cubic feet per second. So we write that down. So we're looking for flow cubic feet per second. Well, other information they give us is that this float traveled 10 feet in 4.2 seconds. So we write down our distance and we write down the time that it takes to travel that distance. So it went 10 feet in 4.2 seconds. We know that it's 2.4 feet wide, so we write that down. And then the depth of the water flowing is 1.8 feet, so we write that down. Well, now we're going to select our formula, and the formula that we'll use is the flow rate, or Q, for the total quantity of flow. Flow rate equals the velocity times the area of the flow channel. Well, we're going to need to do a little side calculation to calculate the area of this flow channel. Well, area is the width times the depth. So when we plug in our numbers to solve for area, we plug in 2.4 feet times the 1.8 feet, and we find that the total area of that flow channel is 4.32 square feet. Well, now we can use that to solve our problem. So we plug in the other numbers that they gave us. So flow rate equals the 10 feet that it traveled divided by the time, which was 4.2 seconds, and we multiply that times the area, which is the 4.32 square feet. So when we do this math, we see that this wastewater is flowing at 10.3 cubic feet per second. And that, my friend, is how this problem is solved.